Hello, I'm Shigeru Miyamoto from Nintendo. Today I'd like to talk to you in a bit more detail about Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, which is scheduled for release on March 24th. Let's see... It must be 12 years now since we made the original Luigi's Mansion. When we first made it, and ever since, I've wanted to see the game in 3D. Using Nintendo 3DS really makes it feel as if there's depth to the rooms of the mansion, and as if Luigi is actually in them, really giving it the sense that this world actually exists. You play this game by exploring the dark mansion with just a lone flashlight to rely on. Exploring these long, dark corridors, and looking up and down as you climb these dark stairs, you need to look and investigate yourself as you go along. Creating an atmosphere that feels as if ghosts could appear from anywhere as you walk through the mansion. Adding immersive realism to the lighting and shadows. The developers for Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon paid a great deal of attention to this type of presentation. I hope you will appreciate the efforts and also enjoy the immersion of the 3D visuals when you play the game. This time, along with your flashlight, you will also carry the poltergust with you, just like the last game. Although this time, the poltergust has received a lot of improvements. You can still use it to suck in lots of ghosts like before, but now you can also suck in lots of other things too. You also need to use the poltergust to solve puzzles around the mansion. For example, sucking things in like this, or using it to spin a ceiling fan around. Sucking up a bucket so you can fill it with water. Or sucking up a ball before blowing it away. You can even fill a balloon up with air to carry you up or down. Puzzles like these will be the key to making your way through the mansion. Please try using it in lots of different ways. In addition to the strobulb, the poltergust is also now fitted with a brand new dark light device. This dark light device is capable of finding items that have disappeared. The game is filled with lots of interesting puzzles. You'll need to solve using this dark light to progress. If you try to suck up too much or something too big with an actual vacuum cleaner, it's a lot of work cleaning up the mess afterwards. But this is a video game, so you can just keep on sucking in as much as you want. And this time, there are a number of different mansions to explore, and each one has something unique about it. You'll encounter things like stairs and clocks that are haunted by ghosts, and the boss ghosts that have haunted each of the mansions are all very distinct. Each mansion also has all kinds of obstacles and traps set by the ghosts for you. These are really fun. Now I can finally tell you about how you actually fight with the ghosts. This time, before you can suck in a ghost, you'll need to stun them with the strobolb. It's a new move we added in this game. The rhythm and action of stunning them first before sucking them up and reeling them in as if you were fishing gives a really fresh feeling to fighting the ghosts. But the ghosts won't let themselves get caught so easily. Some ghosts will use objects to block the light from the strobolb. Some are even wearing sunglasses. And some will attack you from behind. You'll also need to hunt out poltergeists and ghosts which have possessed objects. And of course, booze also make an appearance. There are lots of different kinds of ghosts in the game. So the last one I'd like to show you is this dog. He's a little ghost dog. He seems to love gold and will run off with anything made of it. In order to chase after this dog, you'll need to use the dark light device to follow his footprints. You'll be able to see exactly what he gets up to when you play the game yourself. After listening to my explanation, you might wonder if Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon and its mansions don't make this a scary horror game. But it is, instead, more of a light-hearted game based around funny interactions with all the comical ghosts. There are so many things you can do in the game, so there are quite a few controls to remember but they are all pretty natural and intuitive. Learning them all is actually one of the fun things about the game. I hope when you play the game you will be able to imagine yourself as Luigi and immerse yourself in this haunted mansion as if it were really there 
and just have fun sucking everything up with the Poltergust. I really hope you will enjoy this game and all of its playful ghosts. Hey guys, um, there was a Nintendo Direct the other day releasing a bunch of new, well like, uh, announcing a bunch of new games and, uh, they, they actually showed all this at, all this stuff about Luigi's Mansion, Dark Moon, during that, um, they actually showed a lot of new gameplay, actually, I actually, why do I keep saying actually, um, I think it looks really good, um, it looks a lot better than, uh, the original Luigi's Mansion, which I played a lot when I was a kid, I really liked it, um, so I'm actually really excited for, I said actually again, god damn it, um, I played it a lot, and, uh, I'm really looking forward to it because they actually, uh, alright, they said they, they had a lot of new stuff, like the, uh, the, the ghost dog looks so cute, and then the, uh, um, the dark light actually looks like it could add a lot of, like, a whole new element to the game because a lot, like, they could open up so many new, like, puzzles and all that kind of stuff with all the new things that they, all the little new tweaks that they added to the old game, and, uh, the, the characters actually look really vivid, and I really, I really like what they've done with the graphics, and hopefully they have a nice storyline to go with it, because, um, Personally, I think the first one had a little bit of a lack, lacking of a storyline, but I don't really know, like, I don't know, I feel like it'll be a really good game, regardless. So, actually, leave you, leave a comment in the comments if uh, you think it's going to be a good game. I honestly do. Uh, they actually released a lot of stuff. I'm probably going to upload... Uh, more videos about um, the other uh, gameplay videos and releases that they announced but this was like the biggest one so I felt like I'll just make an entire video on this and really I was just showing you guys a trailer if you guys haven't already seen it well not really tra it's like gameplay talking about the game I really liked it you know I I'm definitely gonna pick up this game on release um, Probably not gonna let's play it because I can't do good quality and but you know if you guys actually really want me to I'll probably do it Because like I said, I, I really look I'm really looking forward to this game. So see you guys all in my next update video